Good afternoon, everybody. Greetings in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are still in lockdown. Things are going okay. We are hearing of numbers being reduced at this stage, but it is not yet. Uh, we, are, we are only in the beginning and we'll probably see how things evolve over time. But this morning I want to come, or rather this afternoon I want to come and I just want to address a, a thing that is, that is very common in mankind, something that has um, become very prominent in the days and times that we are living. And it's the whole thing about depression. I believe God has made us to be human beings, beings, social beings. And as social beings, being in isolation can often mean that people fall into depression. And I want to encourage you today that while depression is just part of our makeup, while depression is one of those things that, that we face from time to time, and I know there are many, many um, thoughts of, of, of mine, um, thought, uh, schools of thought that say that it is from the pit of hell. Well, every time that you are cross and every time that you are dissatisfied, every time that you have a blue Monday, that is depression. Every time that you are going through difficult times or you're just upset with stuff, it's a form of depression. And so I want to, I want to warn and I want to, I want to warn you against calling things as demonic or satanic when it is not. And this morning I would like to, or this afternoon I would like to, just for a moment, draw your attention to, to the Word of God. And, I'm, and I am reading from God's Word translation. It says, Psalm 42 verse 11. It says, Why are you discorded, discouraged, my soul? Why are you so restless? Put your hope in God, because I will still praise Him. He is my Savior and my God. And then I want to go to... Just the basic um, English, uh, the Bible in basic English translation says, Why are you so crushed down, O my soul? And why are you troubled in me? Put your hope in God, for I will again give him praise, who is my help and my God. And so we see that, that scripture comes through and, and, ex and it explains. And I want to just do a last reading from the Message Bible, Psalm 42 verse 11 says why are you down in the dumps dear soul why are you crying the blues fix my eyes on god soon i will be praising again he puts a smile on my face he's my god and i want to i want to come and i i want to i want to just quote a few one final time where it says why so downcast oh my soul put your hope in God. You know, being in isolation is a is a recipe for depression. And I wanna I wanna say that, like the old chorus has said, and I and I've probably quoted it before. But turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full into His wonderful face. Then the things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. We remember the story of Job, where his wife came. And she tells him, man, just curse God and die. Because Job is finding him in a, in a very negative, very dark space. Um, as a family, they find themselves in a very dark space. And here she comes and she tells him to just curse God and die. Get, get over and done with this life. But we read later on that... He comes and he says, I know that my Redeemer lives. Beloved, I don't know where you find yourselves. I don't know how you are going through life. I don't know how you are going through this period of lockdown and being in quarantine. But I want to say to you, have communion with the Lord. I want to, I want to challenge you and I want, to, I want to ask you to get up from where you are laying. Get up from... from this downheartedness. Get up from that place of, of not knowing what to do. Pick up the phone 
and speak to somebody. Pick up your WhatsApp and speak to somebody. But above all, get down on your knees and speak to God because soon we will praise him again. Weeping may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. This isolation, this lockdown is but for a moment. And, and there are rumors going around that it will, our three weeks might, might be extended for longer within the South African context. But even so, yet I will rejoice. Even so, when there's nothing um, in the barn, when, when the fig tree is not producing its fruit, yet I will rejoice. And I want to encourage you, let us turn our eyes upon Jesus. I want to encourage you, go and find your, your solace in the word of God, knowing that he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua is in a place of worry. He knows that the Israelites are not the easiest of people. He saw what they did to Moses. And God comes and he responds to him in Joshua 1. Um, do not be afraid. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Because I, the Lord your God, is with you. Even in lockdown, God is with us. Even where we find ourselves today, God is with you. Let me tell you that you are a royal priest to the holy nation. God's peculiar people. But I want to say also, if you are listening to me today and you find that you might not be in the right, in the right standing with God, seek out a relationship with Him. Call upon the name of the Lord and even be saved from the stain that is, that is just brewing. It's like a brewing pot that just brewing depression. Know that God is on our side. May you be blessed. Put a smile on your face. Um, be joyful in the Lord because he is more than able. Be blessed, church. Amen.